Hey everyone, Matron here bringing you another StarCraft 2 commentary, this time the third and final game in the series between Mal's Morrow, spawning as the Blue Zerg, and Nutsy spawning as the Red Protoss. On normal speed there, make it go faster for you. Uh, so this is the third game, and this is a best of three semi-finals in the Go4 SC2 Cup. So the winner of this game, as it is tied 1-1, will move on to the finals of this tournament. So I'm sure both players concentrating, uh, checking out the APM, not too much spamming going on. Looks like Mario around 200 and Nutsy around the 120 mark. So a lot of times we see that early APM, uh, players are fidgeting, making sure that they're concentrated, that their hands are warmed up and ready to go. We are on Zelnaga Caverns here, so it's going to be a little bit shorter of a rush distance and the natural is going to be susceptible to attack. A lot of paths for attack from both players. You can do run-bys as Zerg uh, to the Protoss natural, but you're also uh, going to be hard-pressed to get up that natural and defend it as the Protoss player can throw down proxy pylons all over the place behind that high grass. So we'll see whether Maro is going to go for a safer build. He has been going for a pool first, actually, excuse me, uh, extractor first, and then immediately pull afterwards before getting up that hatch. So he has been opening up with speedlings. It's going to make him feel extra safe, warm, and cozy at the start of this game, or these games are uh, going to be very good against the, the Protoss early units, the Stalkers, and the Zealots, if you're able to dance around them. And the speedlings are also going to give you map control, control those towers, and much easier to scout with those speedlings as well. Poke up the ramp, see what your opponent's going for. Nutsy has been going uh, just gateway cybernetics, pretty standard, but he has, has added a wrinkle to the mix, getting a second gas early and getting out uh, sentries and using them for hallucinate. So he has been using hallucinated phoenix, actually using a hallucinated colossus in the last game, and really uh, causing... Maro to have to overreact a little bit. Maro towards the end of that game had about 10 corruptors which did diddly the entire game as there were no real Colossus on the field and wasted a lot of minerals and gas on those, uh, those corruptors. So we'll see whether Nutsy is going to be going for the same sort of hallucinate uh, trickery on this third and final game here. We do see the first four Zerglings coming out, and again the same number which Maro must be uh, comfortable with. Two Zerglings to take down the probe, and two more on the towers. So also getting that speed, and stop the mining of the gas at exactly 100 this time. And gets that speed and just goes right back to economy. He has been expanding around the 20 drone mark, so it looks like he's going to do that this game as well. And it's going to be a little bit safer. He's going to have those Zerglings out on the field, going to be chasing down the probe and also grabbing these watchtowers so he can see anything that's coming along. We see Warpgate Research being chrono boosted out for Nutsy at this point. The hold position Zealot as well. And also getting out that first sentry. And again, going to be using those sentries for force fields against the Roaches and Hydras and also using them for the Hallucinate if he chooses to get that up once again and faking some tech or getting out some uh, hallucinations to tank a little bit of damage like he did in the first game. So we'll see whether Maro is going to favor the roaches again. And in the last game, he got out that roach warren only after the lair, so very interesting timing. A lot of players feel like they need to get out that roach warren a little bit earlier to defend against early zealot and stalker pushes, but Maro with interesting timing on that, getting up the lair and then immediately getting the speed research and then pushing out, poking ahead after speed was done in that second game. Looks like Nutsy going for a fast expand, so on three gates here, he is about to finish warp gate, already queued up his hallucination, could be chrono boosting out the both of them, and has down a number of sentries, and again, placing this pylon here, going to create a smaller choke point at the bottom of this ramp, so you can easily uh, force field this off if any Zerglings attempt to run by. Maro doing a great job. Check out his map control. Both these towers he has. He's got an overlord in position to perhaps suicide into the uh, Protoss base. Or he could also just keep it over there to try to see any sort of drops. We have Zerglings running all over the field. So they're going to be checking for any sort of proxy play, proxy stargates. We have seen on this map versus Zerg before. 
So Mar doing everything he knows how to do uh, from his very elite Terran play and translating over into the Zerg. Zerg probably a better scouting race with those Overlords and the Speedlings. So Maro has firm map control at this point, getting out roaches before the high or before the lair this time. So interesting timing twist, and uh, Nutsy might be feeling a little bit safe as the roaches have not applied early pressure in the last two games. So getting this expansion, and it may be a little bit early. We do have a void ray coming out, so Nutsy going to be able to use that hallucinate, and he's going to try to fake a stargate here. But again, Mara with that Overlord could suicide in and see whether there's actually a Stargate. We see Roaches moving across the field with these Speedlings. Creep beginning to be spread. If we check out the Army tab, it actually looks like Mara is ahead, producing a lot of early Speedlings and Roaches moving across the field. We see that Void Ray possibly going to be making it into uh, Mara's base by the time it runs out of energy there. But I don't think he tricked anybody. Mara is pumping out more and more units. We see on the way 18 more Zerglings. Or robotics on the bit on the way for uh, Nutsy. He does have one up already. These roaches are going to be pushing in. And not a lot of units for Nutsy. And a lot of them are sentries. Not very good against these roaches. Sentries do have that weak attack. But mostly just used for spell casting. We see a cancel forced on that robotics facility, and now an immortal coming out needs to be Krona boosted as he needs to uh, close this gap in army 1800 to 775. How did this happen? Maru streaming in with a ton of Zerglings now. Good force fields, a hallucinated immortal, going to be focused down by those roaches, but Maru figuring that it is fake, no longer going to be going after it, instead trying to go for uh, economic damage to this assimilator. More and more Zerglings trying to stream in here after the force fields have gone down. Most of the energy is gone on those sentries. So now we see the Zerglings taking on those probes. Nutsy doing the best that he can, but more and more Zerglings sprinting in here. 14 more on the way, and it looks like these Roaches are going to try to finish off these Stalkers. Good Force Field there, going to save those Stalkers for just a few moments, but more and more Zerglings are running in here, trying to get us around on the Stalker. Stalker going down here, as well as the Sentries being picked off by Morrow, and it looks like Nutsy is out of, uh, out of quarters here. He's going to be game over, and he GG's. So 1625 army at the end of 425, and Nutsy perhaps getting a little bit, uh, a little bit greedy to get there, going for the Nexus. Maru switching up his timing just a little bit instead of getting the Lair first and then the Rochewarn, playing a bit more defensive. He went all out with a good timing push here on this shorter map, and he got that Rochewarn a little bit earlier and just pushed out and punished Nutsy for going econ. So a good third game here. Very good series from both these players. Think about the spell usage we've seen, the hallucinations, uh, what that prompted Maru to do in a lot of these games. Then Maru baiting those force fields beautifully in that second game. At one point, he just had a few roaches peeled off from the group and baited a lot of force fields, was able to retreat easily, and it ran out all the energy from those sentries. And then when they did attack, uh, the sentries had no force fields and no answer for the roaches. And then in this third game, a great timing variation on these roaches, pumping out a ton of zerglings. Uh, might have cut probe production or worker production here as well. Yes, only has 23 harvesters. So able to end this game quickly with a nice timing push and going to be moving on to the finals of this tournament. So if I'm able to find those finals, uh, go ahead and cast those for you. If you're looking for more StarCraft II action, I encourage you to check out my channel, MatronStarCraft at YouTube.com. Throw up some comments, discuss the games, tell me how I'm doing as a commentator. If you enjoy the games, throw me a subscription as well or some thumbs up. Really just let me know how you feel about the series. I thought it was a great one between two quality players. We've seen Mara's uh, Zerg play really improve in the second and third game here. A uh, great macro game in the second one, and then like I said before a billion times, a nice timing push in this third one, ending the series and Nutsy's chances of moving on. So thanks again for watching this one. Take care. Awkward ending. See ya.